Uh, and like a little SEC tournament y'all got going on out here now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's SEC baseball for you. Great baseball. What did you uh, say to Ray last night about when you think you might be able to throw you think Wednesday is possible? Uh, we didn't talk. I don't think he wanted to talk to me just yet about that. So I'm sure we'll talk Monday night about that. What, see I mean, what, what situation we're in. I was going to say, what's, what's your feeling on if you guys have to play Wednesday? Do you feel like you physically be able to go? I've thrown on three days rest before, so uh, you know, it's just uh, if, if they're willing to let me go and if that's what uh, the situation calls for. Mike, now you have a chance to think about last night, your, just your overall uh, view of your performance and the team's performance behind you. Uh, they did a great job, you know, played, made some defensive plays for me, and uh, you know, I'd like to make some better pitches at times, but again, you know, Florida's a great hitting team. I kept them off balance for, for a little bit. And, uh, you know, you just try to minimize damage, and it always helps when you, you, the guys go out and put a five spot up for you. Uh, you don't have to worry too much. And, uh, you know, I think I did all right. Just need to throw a little more strikes every now and then. All the little things that the team does, uh, you know, the great catches, the Roseburg catching people, stealing, stuff like that. Uh, is that what sets South Carolina apart from some of these other teams that obviously have big talent on them and whatnot? So. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's it's – I guess you could point it out, yeah, maybe that's uh, little plays like that. But uh, sometimes you just have to have things going for you. I think we've had a lot, we've been fortunate enough to have a lot of things going our way. Uh, a lot of people have been stepping up in the right situations with uh, Eric Payne getting a big hit with bases loaded. Uh, you know, Evan, who's always out there making plays like that. So uh, I think it's really just guys going out there and just really almost putting the team on their back a little bit every now and then. You know, Ray won't say very much about the numbers you guys have put together in, in the tournament, but as a, as a player involved in all of it, you're, you're raising the bar so high. Do you kind of feel like what you guys are doing now might never be matched in college baseball again as, as, as the streak might continue? Well, to be honest with you, we don't ever really think about that streak. We don't talk about the streak. Uh, it, it's never really pops into our mind. You know, we, maybe the only time we see is when we're on Twitter and, and you guys are tweeting stuff about it. So... Uh, we just try to show up and play. That's that's, I guess that's how you keep a streak alive. You just go out there, and we're fortunate enough to be able to be in a situation to keep the streak going. And so we don't we don't think too much about that. Uh, we just try to show up and play. And heck, half these guys weren't even part of the streak. So from last year, so you know they don't they probably don't even know about it. But you just gotta go out every day and just try to try to uh, play your best. Michael, you don't have to pitch against Arkansas yourself, but can you kind of get a scouting report, just what you remember from them earlier in the year? Uh, yeah, they were a good hitting team when we played them uh, in this weekend series. They, they had a backside approach off of me. Uh, most teams approach me a little bit differently than they do a right-handed pitcher, but uh, they swing the bats pretty well. You know, they got Figuchello and Reynolds in, in the middle of the order right there. Uh, you know, they got some older guys that have been there before, so they're a pretty good team. I think Colby goes, goes out there and makes some pitches. It should be a great game.